Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of the Stephen Austin Wrestling Toy Figure Show. I'm Steve. And I'm Austin. Um, today we are not unboxing anything, we're um, showing you uh, our Stone Cold Steve Austin collection. It's all mint on card and there's about, how many figures was there? Do you remember? 34. 34 figures to show. Um, start off with this poster that I had. Uh, made by um, a guy called Ian Harvey on Facebook. He does loads of custom prints, so if you're a fan of anyone in particular, look up Ian Harvey and find his posters. Uh, right, so let's start with him. Um, it's not all figures. There is the 30-odd figures that Austin mentioned, plus some other little bits and pieces, all Stone Cold Steve Austin themed. Um, and it's not all Mattel stuff, some uh, one or two bits that aren't Mattel. So We'll start with the non-Mattel stuff. And there's this SH Figuarts figure. Uh, lots of detail on it. Um, and it looks really good. Looks just like Stone Cold. Comes with the vest and a couple of the heads. Um, made in China, I think. That's why it's got all the uh, non-English language on the back. And this was made... I don't know when it was made, but... Um, yeah, pretty good figure. There was a Rock figure, a Triple H figure, a Kane, and an Undertaker, I think. They only did the five figures, um, and I only recently got this Stone Cold, but yeah, very happy with it. Shows you some of the stuff it comes with on the back as well, so it got a couple of cans of beer with it all spilling out, because Stone Cold used to, like, smash the beer cans together, and then he'd be pouring, and ah, pouring all down all over his face. Um, so we're never going to open this, so that's... A, good as an image of the figure you're going to get. You could just about make out some of the beer popping out here and the four different heads. Screaming head, smiling head, stern head and another stern head. He was mostly stern all the time. Um, so yeah, that's the first one out of the way. That's our Fig Watts one. Um, next up, you got this 12 inch Mattel Steve Austin figure. Uh, there is another one of these figures where he's fully clothed in a t shirt and jeans. Not been able to find that one. Um, so that's the side of the box where it says Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, the back shows the figure posed. And on that side, another picture, which I think is from one of the 2K games, uh, possibly 2K16. And this one was made in. No, nope, I can't see a year on that, but you can also get Brock Lesnar, Callisto, and Finn Balor. Um, I think I've seen all of them, but yeah. So that's the Stone Cold 12-inch figure. Um, next up, we'll go from one of the bigger ones to possibly the smallest one. This is from a two-pack of the Rumblers. It comes with a rock figure in the pack. Not been able to pick up a mint on card one. This is the only figure in my collection that's out of the packet. Um, yeah, and I think there's uh, the Attitude, Best of the Attitude Era figure that comes in this attire as well by Mattel, um, which we'll have a look at a little bit later. But yeah, little type of mascot type figure. I quite like that one. We'll leave that there to the side. Um, next up, we've got the Mattel Retro figure. Um, all of the attires, except for the odd few for Stone Cold that um, we've got packaged here, is basically black pants, black knee pads and boots. Sometimes it's two knee pads with the braces on, different colours. Um, but very basic attire for Stone Cold. Um, and that's the back of the pack, showing what other ones came in this series. Can you read the names on the back here? Who's that one? Kane, The Rock. Mankind, Sting, Stone Cold Steel of Austin, Triple H. Yeah, um, yeah, these are quite a popular little range that came out. They are um, redos of sort of the Hasbro line that came out in the 80s and 90s um, that I used to play with as a kid. Uh, so very happy to get this Steve Austin one. Um, next up, we'll go away from the figures for a second, and it's just a... Stone Cold Steve Austin mug, and that's the print that you get on the mug all the way around. And um, nothing much else to see on there. Uh, yeah, that's the mug. Uh, then we've got uh, Austin 316 lunchbox, and with a Stone Cold skull on the back of it. And 
Yeah, again, something that I'll never use. It'll just stay in the pack. Uh, we've got this Steve Austin Funko Pop, number five in the line. Came with the WWE 2K16 PlayStation game. Um, this is the side of it. The back. And the other side. And you see his eyes looking at you from the top. That one. Um, and we've got this Create a Superstar, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, comes with some leather chaps with skulls on the kneecap, blue jeans underneath. Got a metal chain, it looks like, wrapped around his arm. Um, an arm that comes off. I think I imagine the other arm comes off so you can get the black vest on and this sort of towing metal chain that he can hold and swing at his opponents. Um, on the back, it's the other ones in the line. Um, not sure who they are, but let's have a look. Uh, so, no, I can't tell who most of these people are. They don't look much. I think this is a Seamus one. That's the stone cold that we've got. That's going to be a cane one, I think, with a cane mask. And I'm not quite sure who that one is. Let's have another look at it. Um, no, I don't know who that is. No. So that's the creator wrestler one that we've got. Now we'll go on to our basic figures. Uh, so this basic series, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Uh, I'm not sure what issue this is, what series it is. It's from WrestleMania 17 on the back. And it says, a stunning twist occurred at WrestleMania 17 when Mr. McMahon pulled the rock off the chairman's longtime arch enemy, Stone Cold Steve Austin, and proceeded to help Austin destroy the rock with a steel chair to win the WWE Championship. As over 65,000 shock fans looked on, Austin and McMahon shook hands and even toasted the Texas Rattlesnake's victory over the Rock's prone body on the canvas. Um, yeah, so in this line, uh, maybe it's a Rus it is a WrestleMania uh, heritage series. Um, you can get Randy Orton from WrestleMania, Edge from WrestleMania 21, Cena from 21, Stone Cold from 17 that we've got, Undertaker from 24, and Batista from 21 as well. Um, so yeah, that and this is our oldest basic, I think. And uh, this is a 2010, so 11 years old, this Stone Cold figure. Uh, next one up, uh, we've got, again, it doesn't say what series this is, but the basic Steve Austin with the two knee braces on with the black and red vest in the picture. Um, in this line, you get, who did you get in this line, Austin? Um, Archer, John Cena. Kane, Big Show, CM Punk. Yeah. Um, that's back with his signature on the back. And this, again, this is a 2013 basic. So from what I've got, I think I've got all the basics of Steve Austin. And looks like there was a three-year gap between the Heritage one and this one coming out. Uh, next up, we've got the World Champions basic series with an Austin 316 shirt and light blue jeans and this looks like it's Superstar Series 33 um, yeah, and there's a picture on the back of who we get in this line who do we get in this one Austin? Um, Ultimate Warrior Edgy Guerrero Big Show, John Cena, CM Punk okay. so CM Punk and Big Show in two successive Steve Austin figures um, so yeah that's that one, series 33. Then we have number 41, basic series. Pretty similar to the WrestleMania Heritage one, but this comes with red knee braces on it as opposed to the black ones. Um, there's the back. You can see who's in there. Who's in this one? Dolph Ziggler, Dean Ambrose, Stardust. Stephen McMahon and Health Slater. Heath Slater. Um, so there's the ones you got on there. And yeah, it's basic series 41. Then we've got 
similar to the World Champions series, we've got this WrestleMania series again. Uh, Stone Cold Steve Austin with a Dallas 316 on um, instead of the Austin 316 t-shirt. And there's the back of this one. And who are we getting this one? Undertaker, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Chris, Chris Jericho, Roman Reigns. Cool. Uh, then we have the Then Now Forever basic series. And it comes with this, I think it's a smoking skull belt. Yep, yeah, smoking, smoking skull belt before they started doing the metallic finishes on the belt. And this comes with gold knee braces. Um, and on the back, you can see that we have, who do we have on the back? Neville, Seamus, Ultimate Warrior. Don't know where he's gone, but he's down there trying to get something off the floor. Um, next up, um, from 2016, we have this basic zombies figure. Um, the detail is really good on this. Love the skull with the smoke coming out of it. Austin obviously famous for his smoking skull. Um, artwork on it is really good as well. Austin's got a Jeff Hardy one of these, um, and that's really good as well. Um, and on the back, who do we get in this one? Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, Sasha Banks, Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles. Yeah. Um, there's loads of good ones in these as well. There's another Finn Balor one. There's a Triple H one with the skull. Uh, the Kane one is a really good one. Um, it's got a removable mask, and the detail underneath that mask is unbelievable. But, yeah, really like the zombie figures. Uh, next up, we have Basic Series 79. Um, all blacked out, two knee braces, um, slightly different facial expression, but essentially it's the same figure as the WrestleMania Heritage figure. Um, there's the back, and this one is a 2017 figure. And uh, who do we get on the back of that one? Um, Nia Jax, Baron Corbin, TGP. Neville, Samoa Joe, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah, another basic there. Um, and then the last basic we've got is Basic Series 100 from 2019, two years ago already. I remember when this first came out. Um, and it's pretty much the same as all the other basics, just this time, it's white knee braces. Um, in this one, who did we get as in the 100 series? John Cena, The Rock. Stone Cold Steve Austin, Shawn Michaels, The Undertaker. Yeah. Um, all pretty good. Lots of people like the head scans on these basics and they swap them onto Mattel Elite ones um, just because the detail is a bit better on some of them. Um, basic 100, our last basic. Right, now we'll move on to our Elites. Um, and here we have the WWE Legends Elite figure. Comes with the vest, comes with the Austin 316 figure. And no knee braces, just knee pads on this one. And on the back of this box, uh, let's have a quick look at what it says. So it says, at the time of making this uh, figure, the titles were WWE Champion, Intercontinental Champion, World Tag Team Champion, 1996 King of the Ring, Royal Rumble winner, 97, 98, and 2001, United States Champion, and WWC, WCW Tag Team Champion. Memorable moment. At the 1997 Royal Rumble, Stone Cold Steve Austin eliminated seven superstars of being, before being thrown over the top rope to the floor by his bitter rival, Bret Hitman Hart. Realising no referee saw him eliminated, Austin slyly snuck back into the ring and defeated the last few contenders, including Hart, to win the Royal Rumble. Stone Cold set a new Royal Rumble record that day by eliminating ten superstars in all. And who else do we get on the back of that, Austin? Stone Cold Steve Austin. HGT Slaughter, Road Warrior Animal, Road Warrior Hawk, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, American Dream, Dusty Rhymes. So the first Elite that was made, and this is from 2010. Again, 11 years old. And next up, we have WrestleMania 27 Stone Cold Steve Austin. And that Stone Cold t-shirt, jeans, um, shows a vest in the picture, but he's 
t-shirt that he's wearing. Um, this is a 2011 figure. And who do we get on the back of this one, Austin? The Miz Undertaker, Kofi Kingston. That's another elite. Uh, then we start getting belts with elites as we get this ringside collectibles exclusive flashback elite with Stone Cold wearing the black and red vest and his two knee braces, smoking skull belt and a world title belt. Um, I'm not going to read everything that's on the back of this one, that's a lot. So if you want to read it, you can pause and read now. Um, this one is a 2012 figure. Um, yeah, pretty good looking figure. This little flap here is very annoying. When I'm taking it in and out of storage and it gets caught, one day it's just going to rip it off, so I have to be very careful with this packaging. Um, but yeah, another elite. Next we have WWE Hall of Fame Elite. Again, comes with the vest and a Watt t-shirt. Um, with blue denim jean shorts and some knee braces and uh, picture on the side and it says it comes with the vest a chain and a sleeveless shirt that gold chain around his neck um, again that's what you can read if you want to pause it now class of 2009 hall of fame um, and this is a 2014 figure yeah i like that one Next up from 2015 is a Defining Moments figure and a lot of people's favourite Steve Austin figure because it comes with the three belts, the Smoking Skull, the Winged Eagle and the other World Heavyweight title. Um, yeah, well, the back of it, you can see the detail that they went into with the skulls and all the detail on the back of his vest. Um, side, another 2K image there and it's the same image on the other side and yeah 2015 there is another defining moments probably the hardest figure i've ever had to try and find and still not been able to get hold of it and that's the other defining moments where he's in the camouflage jacket the t-shirt jeans and the camouflage cap um yep yeah, defining moments to see austin and um, next up from 2017, we have the Best of Attitude Era, the one I was talking about earlier. I um, don't oh know, it's a different figure, but that was what we were looking at somewhere over there. Um, we've already seen that with the same t-shirt on the Mattel figure. Um, but this one comes with the blue belt. And this, uh, I looked up because I don't remember uh, off the top of my head when he had the blue belt. Um, but apparently it was just after he and Vince McMahon teamed up and screwed over the rock. Um, so yeah, that's that side. And that's how I can just about make out that it says Stone Cold Steve Austin on there. Um, and also you get the cap, the microphone. Yeah. Uh, in this series there was a rock Triple H and Jericho, I think. Um, and if you want to read more, you can pause it and read the back of it in your own time we'll keep moving on to the next one um, 2016 this one and it's the first appearance of Steve Austin in the WWF as the ringmaster uh, million dollar champion came down to the ring with Ted DiBiase um, and then he subsequently ditched the ringmaster around the 1996 King of the Ring time um, that's the back of it with its signature. Network, Network Spotlight series that was Toys R Us um, exclusives here in the UK. Um, yeah, not a massive fan of that face scan. Maybe it's just the hair, not being used to seeing Austin with hair. Uh, and I've only just noticed that, if you, if you, I don't know if you can see that, but his trunks are green. Were they always green? Huh. I've had that figure for years and I've never noticed that before. Next up from 2018, we have this Flashback Elite series and it was Builder Shawn Michaels figure um, and it comes with no knee braces, plain black vest, no detail on it. Um, and on the back, you can make these figures. On the back, who's on this one? 
Jake the Snake Robert, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, King Harley Race. And then you can make the Shawn Michaels Commissioner figure. Uh, yeah. If you want to read, you can pause it now. Next up from 2019 was this Ghostbusters Elite Stone Cold Steve Austin. Um, comes in the full Ghostbusters kit, but you can take that off and underneath is some wrestling clothes. He looks like he's got a green and black Austin t-shirt underneath. And he comes with his normal vest as well. Um, and you got the Ghostbusters backpack, jet, whatever it was called. And there you can see some pretty decent artwork on the back of the purple Undertaker that was in the line. And then you had John Cena, Shawn Michaels, and The Rock. I never understood why Cena was in this series instead of Triple H. I thought it would have made more sense to have Triple H. Um, then it could have like the green and black DX sort of theme going on with it as well. Just my theory. Um, picture on the side of Steve Austin. And a bit of writing on the side as well. And there you've got the Ghostbusters logo on the top. Pretty good series, this one. Um, now we're getting to a bit more recent, and from 2020, we've got the stunning Steve Austin Elite from Elite Series 81. Um, this is his WCW days as part of the Hollywood Blondes. And what belt is that? I forget what belt that is. Um, I think it was like a television title. I could be wrong. Probably someone out there that knows more about what WCW belts than I do. But yeah, that's it there. And it comes with the film Crapper Board and Interchangeable Hands. And it's Steve Austin with hair. Not a lot of people remember that, but yeah. Stone Cold Steve Austin with hair. On the back, some more detail for you to read if you want to. And who else comes in this line, Austin? The Rock. Shinsuke Nakamura. Angelo Dawkins. Montez Ford. St Stunning Steve Austin. And Bianca Belair in this line. And then the last elite that we've got from 2020 as well is this Royal Rumble Steve Austin um, elite. Comes with a black and gold vest. Um, all black knee pads, uh, interchangeable hands, and in this line, you get, who's that one? Umaga, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Ultimate Warrior. Titus O'Neil. We all remember what happened with Titus O'Neil at the, um, what was that, the, the, the Great or the Grand Rumble or something like that. Um, and when he came running down to the ring, he fell over and he slid under the ring. Did I show you that video before? We'll have a good watch and a good laugh at that a bit later. So photos is on the side and another picture on that side. And that's our last elite of our collection. Now we'll move on to battle packs from 2015. We have Stone Cold Steve Austin and Vince McMahon. And it comes with a pair of dumbbells. Um, this is the first of two packs we have with Stone Cold and McMahon in it. And it's pretty much the same McMahon. Uh, but we'll look at that in a second. And on the back, who do we have? We have Enzo Amore and Big Cass. We have Bushwhacker Luke, Bushwhacker Luke, uh, Butch, and Stone Cold and Things for that. Then from again 2015, this is from WrestleMania 13. Uh, my favorite Steve Austin um, wrestling match uh, against Bret Hart it was an I quit match, and neither of them quit. Austin passed out, he had blood all over his face. Really iconic moment for wrestling. Um, and yeah, my favorite match. Uh, on the back, we have Stone Cold Steve Austin and Ric Flair and The Rock from WrestleMania 20. Yeah. 
Next up from, again, 2015, it's the Then Now Forever Battle Pack. Um, it's got Stone Cold Steve Austin in his Watt t-shirt and blue jeans, and it comes with John Cena and that Watt microphone. I'm not sure what this is meant to be from. I don't remember Austin with a microphone or having any interaction whatsoever with John Cena. Um, and on the back, we have, who do we have, Austin? John Cena and Stone Cold Steve Austin, Dean Ambrose, Brian Pillman, Ultimate Quarry and Sting. Yeah, so Ultimate Warrior and Sting obviously used to be in a tag team, and I think the Brian Pillman and Dean Ambrose connection is they were both a little bit insane, uh, was the character they had, so I think that's why they got paired up. Um, so yeah, then now Forever Battle Pack. Next up, we're nearly at the end, we're nearly at the end, from 2019, we have this Austin and Goldberg battle pack, um, probably taken from the era where WrestleMania 20, Stone Cold Steve Austin was a special guest referee for the match between Goldberg and Brock Lesnar, um, and on the back we have Alexa Bliss, Sasha Banks, Seamus, Cesaro, Stone Cold Steve, Austin, Goldberg. Yeah, and that's the other battle packs in the series. Um, Alexa Bliss and Sasha Banks, that's a notable moment because um, they were the first females allowed to compete in uh, Saudi Arabia, I think it was. Um, but they had to be from neck down completely covered. No skin was allowed to be seen, but a significant moment. And that's why it's been commemorated in that battle pack. Then from 2020, we have Series 67, AJ Styles and Stone Cold. Stone Cold in that um, New York Smoking Skull t-shirt and the darker blue jeans and white trainers. Uh, basic AJ in red and black. This is from um, when Stone Cold was doing something in the ring with The New Day, I think, and AJ came down and interrupted it, and then AJ ended up getting stunned, and probably someone else did at some point as well. Um, so, yeah, and on the back, who else do we have? The Miz, John Morrison, Kofi Kingston, Ryan Yeah, uh, There we go. That's the last of the basic battle packs. Then we've got this Fan Central Triple Pack that comes with Stone Cold Steve Austin, Brock Lesnar and Curtis Axel. I think the connection aimed for here is that at some point each of them were Paul Heyman guys. Um, Austin in WCW I think was a Heyman guy. Then he went to ECW that Heyman owned. Um, and then we've got obviously Brock Lesnar who was a Heyman guy for most of his WWE career, and then Curtis Axel was supposed to be the next big thing with Paul Heyman, and that just didn't work out. Um, so yeah, and that's the back of it with the three of them. Um, then we have, uh, from 2018, the Milkamania set, and we open up this lid here. Inside we have Kurt Angle, Stone Cold in his WCW Invasion t-shirt, and Stephanie McMahon. And then down here we have um, little cartons of milk, and is that a cooler? Yep, a cooler. And the hose from when Kurt Angle had the hose connected up to the milk truck, and he sprayed the entire ring with um, milk. A couple of cartons, so obviously Austin smashed the beer cans, covered himself in beer. Kurt Angle was mocking him by smashing open the milk cartons and pouring milk all over himself. Um, yeah, and then you've got Stephanie McMahon down here with the uh, interchangeable head. Uh, look at the back. And you can, if you don't know about Milkomania, pause it now and you can read up all about it on the back there. And you can see Kurt Angle sitting on the milk truck, smashing open some cartons of milk. Uh, Milkomania, it's true, it's true. And we've got two more. Oh, this one is from 2012, and it's called the Champion Collection. 
Here we have Rey Mysterio, The Rock, Stone Cold, and John Cena. Uh, I think that's the spinning belt, WWE Championship. Stone Cold with the winged eagle belt. The Rock with the classic Attitude Era, WWE Championship. And Rey Mysterio with Big Gold. The Big Gold belt is probably my favorite belt. Um, and then we look on the back and there's a bit of artwork of the four of them all with the titles that they're holding inside the box um, in our last box is another WWE Network Spotlight set and this is from 2016 and this is a five pack again from Toys R Us we've got Ultimate Warrior, The Rock, Sting, Vince McMahon and Stone Cold Steve Austin um, not entirely sure what the connection is, but it's a very good pack if you were to be starting off a collection, whether to play with or not. Some pretty big names there, um, and that's all of them. I think, yeah, in, in, this is pretty similar, Vince McMahon, to the one that's in the battle pack with Steve Austin. The only difference I can see is maybe a different head sculpt and pair of gloves that Vince is wearing. But yeah, a good little set. And then our final thing, might need to back it up a little bit for this one. So we're gonna, we've got this tiny, 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 tiny little Steve Austin. And then we've got this big figure. Um, the scale, you can just about make out the little figure. And that's the big Steve Austin there. Uh, trying to remember who else they have with this. I think the other one is a Sting. Uh, I don't think there's any other ones that I've seen. Um, I don't think it says anything on there that we don't already know. But if you want to read that, you can do. Eight points of articulation, apparently. Um, I'll take their word for it. Doesn't look like it's got that amount of movement on it. But yeah. Um, so that's all of the Steve Austin figures that we've got at the moment. Uh, there is, of course, the Ultimate Edition Series 9 that's recently been um, announced and advertised, so that'll be something we'll be looking to get hold of. Um, no, um, what else is there? There's a few more Funkos that are coming up. There's a two-pack with The Rock and Austin in the ring, and they were rivals for most of the Attitude Era. Um, so that'll be something we'll be looking to get, and there's two other single Steve Austins, one, one where he's fully clothed with a belt and one in his wrestling attire with the belt I think it is um, and if there's any other future ones that they release then we'll be looking to get hold of them as well um, anything else you want to say no no okay uh, well thanks for watching if you liked the video give us a like and if you haven't subscribed already then hit that subscribe button thanks for watching and we'll see you again with another video bye bye, bye.